beautiful beaters. It's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com, and I'm here today with the Half Tila Herringbone tutorial. This has been a highly requested tutorial, and I'm excited that Eureka Crystal Beads is now carrying these beads, and I will share some links down below for the specific colors that I'm using today. What I want to cover is how to get started, because honestly, that is the hardest part. Once you have the routine down of what you need to do, it's super easy, it goes fast, and they can be kind of addicting to make. They also feel great, they're so slinky. So what I'm gonna be showing you today are some segments of different options that you can make with your half tealas. I'm gonna show you how to make vertical stripes like the bracelet you see here in my hand, but with these smaller bands of color and you can adapt that to wider bands quite easily. And I'll also be showing you how to do some horizontal stripes. So there's two different colors here with an outside color and an inside color. And I'm also going to show you how to make a wider bracelet so you have the skills that you need to make one as wide or as slim as you want. For the one that I'm wearing today, I did finish this with a ribbon crimp end. I have this glued in onto both sides and it is in there very good. I used E6000, it's very sturdy. So that is one example of how you can finish these bracelets besides using a wire garden clasp method. And another method I suggest, especially if you're going with a wider width and you don't wanna use a ribbon end clasp, you can instead make several loops of seed beads coming off of each end of your bracelet and attach those to a slide clasp, the ones that have multiple loops coming off each side. So there's tons of ways to finish these off. You'll just have to decide what width of bracelet you wanna make, what works best with that. Maybe it'll depend on what you have on hand, but those are just a few ideas to get you rolling. And that's really what this video is. It's a springboard for you to see different variations and how you would make them. Just think about all the possible color combinations, widths, and patterns that can change the look of this whole design. Lastly, before we jump into it, you can use the herringbone stitch for other two whole beads, not just the half tealas. The herringbone stitch is a basic bead weaving stitch and can also be easily adapted to beads such as super duos, the only thing you may need to change is the size seed bead or quantity of seed beads that you're using around them because these little 15 O's and the number that I'm using have been specially adapted to these half tealas. But let your imagination run wild. We're going to start out by making a little swatch of this variation, which I'll call the horizontal stripes with an outside color and an inside color. And we're gonna start these bracelets in the exact same way, and that is by picking up three of our 15 O's and pull those down. And I would leave yourself about a 10 inch tail. If you are planning to do what I did in order to finish off these bracelets with the seed beads, that way you can play around with that as a final step. So leave yourself enough to work with to make the end of that bracelet. Since I'm just doing a swatch of this for now, I'm gonna pull mine down further. And in addition to the three 15 O's, you're gonna to wanna to pick up one of your half tealas in your inside color, three more 15 O's, and then one of your half tealas in your outside color, and finally, three more 15 O's. You can pull those down. So in total, this is what you have. You have both colors you're gonna be working with and they're each separated by three 15 O's. Now we wanna swing our needle back down the other way. So you're gonna swing back down through the outside color that you put on last in this design and it's going to place those three seed beads there at the top of that bead. Then what you wanna do is just pick up one 15 O and then pick up another one of what you want to be your inside color. So I have one 15 O and one of my white teal is here on my needle. And you're gonna go through all three of those seed beads that you get to next, and then go through the open hole of the first teal that you put on. This is the hardest part, guys, just getting started. Once you're started and once you have the steps under control and learn, it is so easy. So give yourself some patience with this part. And if it takes you a few times to get it right, you're not alone. It almost seems counterintuitive, so you may have to watch this a couple times. 
And then next what you wanna do is pick up one of your 15 O's and one of your outside color. And you're gonna go through those first 15 O's, all three of them that you put on your thread and pull. So you should have something like this so far. You have both your tail thread and your working thread coming out of the same seed bead right here. And you can see it's kind of leaning in and ready to go. And we are going to be putting our needle through this open hole of that outside color that we just added. It's kind of ready to go there and pull. And that's gonna put those three seed beads into place and kind of get that end started for us. So if you have something resembling this right now, you're on the right track. We have our two outside colors here located on the outside. They both have three seed beads wrapped around them. And you have your two inside colors here, one of which is hanging out with an empty hole on the side. Now we're getting into the more fun part. And this is the part that just keeps on repeating until you're done with your bracelet. So you're gonna pick up one 15 -0. Then we wanna pick up one of our inside colors and you see that 15 O that's sitting there all by itself. We want to go through that one and we don't want to go through this teal that's right after it. Do not go through the teal that's right after it. Go through the one that is sticking out, go through that open hole and pull this holding with your thumb and your forefinger. And you should have something that resembles this so far. And we're coming out of the half teal here on the right hand side and we're ready to pick up our next color. So first we're picking up a 15-0, and now we're gonna pick up an outside color. And you can pull those down, and you're gonna look for, again, the little 15-0 that's sitting by itself, and you're gonna go through that one. Do not go through the very next teal right there. We don't have one that's sticking out to go through, so we're only going through the 15-0. Hold with your thumb and your forefinger and pull. And you should have something like that so far, which means we've reached this edge of our bracelet and we want it to match what we have already started, which as you can see on the finished piece is gonna be three 15 O's on each side. It's gonna look nice and neat. So to do that, we need to add two more 15 O's to the one that we have here on the end. So let's pick up two 15 O's and then we're gonna swing our needle back in the other direction by heading down back through the half teal we're coming out of. But once you pull, those other two seed beads pop into place and now you have three on this end. And we are going to repeat the same exact steps all the way down till you get to the desired length of your bracelet. So just like we did before, except we're going in the other direction and feel free to flip this if you're more comfortable. Before we pick up a half teala, we're picking up a 15 0, then our teala. And that's going to be an inside color first. Then look for that 15 0 that's sitting all by itself and go down through the next teala that's sticking out through the open hole. Pull that. And the further in you get, the more it starts to make sense and the easier it gets. And then it's mindless and you can just do this while you're watching a show or something. Then we're ready for our other color for this row. So we want to pick up a 15-0 and then our outer color, Tila. Look for the 15-0 that's sitting by itself and don't go through the next Tila, just through the 15-0. We don't have another one that's sticking out. And when we pull that, that one pops right into place, just like we did before. For this side, you wanna clean up this edge, make them all match. So pick up two more 15 O's, head up through the half teela in the opposite direction to start your new row. Pull, and that made your three seed beads here on the side. All right, same exact thing. And then I think I can cut you loose with this one. Just like we did before, 15 O, inside color. Look for the 15 O that's by itself, head through the teal that's sticking out, pull, pick up a 15 0, pick up an outside color, go through the 15 0 only, 
and pull. Now pick up two 15 O's and go down in the other direction through that same tila that you're coming out of in order to finish off that edge and move your needle in the other direction. And that is how you complete the slimmer version of the half tila herringbone with an outside color stripe and an inside color. Now let's take a look at how you would complete the half tila herringbone with alternating vertical stripes. This version is gonna start exactly the same way as the first version I showed you, except that instead of picking up two different colors to start our first row, we're just gonna choose the color that we want to start our bracelet off at. Since it's on the left, I'll just go ahead and say we'll start with white. So just like we did before, you wanna pick up three 15 O's, one Tila in your first color, three more 15 O's, one more of the same color of Tila, and then three more 15 O's. So this is what you have on your needle to get you started, and you can slide this down. And once again, if you missed the first part, if you will be completing this bracelet with a loop of seed beads and clasp like I did above, you will wanna leave yourself about a 10 inch tail so you can pop a needle on that and then have enough thread to form a loop on that end. For now, we're not gonna worry about it. And since I'm just doing swatches, I'm gonna pull mine down a little bit further. And just like we did before, we're gonna head back down through the same Tila that we're currently coming out of. And that's moving our needle in the opposite direction and getting us ready to start our next row. Now we're not done with the white yet, even though we're doing stripes of one color, we're gonna do two passes with the same color to make this type of bracelet. So we want to pick up a 15 O and one of the teal is in the same color and pull those down. Then go through all three of the next 15 O's that you get to and pull that. And then you also wanna go down through the next Tila that's sticking out right there, just like we did before. And then next you'll pick up one 15 O and one of those Tila's in the same color and go through those remaining three 15 O's right there that we first strung on. Again, this is the most complicated part because it seems to mess with, at least it seems to mess with my brain a little bit at first. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. So then we're left with both of our threads coming out of the same three seed beads. And we wanna go through the Tila that we're coming out of to swing those three seed beads around it. And now we're ready to form our next row, which is also going to be in our other color. Now this pattern is done the exact same way as this one I did above. So you follow the same steps, except if you want these vertical stripes wider, you'll just stick with the same first color for the next two rows instead of switching over right away to your next color. For this one, we'll just do these smaller stripes. And to start our next row, of course, we need to pick up a 15 O and then our other color of Tila. And you can pull those down and we're gonna look for that little 15 O that's sitting by itself and also go up through the half Tila that is sticking out, not through the very next one, the one that's sticking out. And then for the second Tila on this row, of course, we wanna pull the same color, first picking up a 15 O, then the second color, looking for the seed bead that's sitting by itself going through that seed bead only and pulling. This is what we have so far, but we need to complete one more row with that second color. And we need to also make this edge look nice. So we're gonna pick up our two 15 O's, which will make the total of three on this edge. Pull those down if you need to. Swing your needle back around and go through the same half Tila and pull, and we're ready to begin our next row. So you pick up one 15 one more black, pull them down, 
and then look for the 15 0 that's by itself that you get to next, and then go through the next half teal that's sticking out. Pick up another 15 0 and then another teal in our second color. Go through just the 15 0 that's sticking out, pull your beads. Then let's finish up the edge right here by picking up two 15 O's and then heading back up through the Tila that we're currently coming out of through the hole that's sticking out. And once we pull that, you can see that we have now two stripes completed and in place. So what we would do next is repeat the exact same steps except that we're going to be back to our white beads again. So you can see that you're doing two rows to get this effect, and in each row you're adding two more beads. All right, now I'd like to show you how I finish off the slimmer version of the bracelet with a wire guard and seed beads. So with the working portion of my thread, again, this is my tail thread, I'm gonna continue on to do this side first. This is what you would end up with if you're still working on your bracelet. And what I like to do to make everything kind of match, I like to make it look like there's three seed beads here and three seed beads here. So I'm coming out of this half tila on the top and I'm gonna pick up two more 15-0 seed beads and I'm just gonna travel down that 15-0 as well as the next half tila. And when I do that, that's gonna make it look like there's three seed beads sitting there and I wanna do the same thing right over here. So just following my thread path and I'm gonna go through the 15-0 that's right there in that corner through the next half tila down there that would be at the bottom. And I'm gonna pick up two more 15 O's to finish off that edge. And I'm just gonna travel down the open hole of that half tila. I'm just gonna swing my needle back through this half tila, the hole that's closest to the one that I'm coming out of. That'll kind of pull those together. And we want to eventually make our way out of these three seed beads right here. I'll call those in the middle, even though they're kind of off center. So I'm just going to follow the thread path up through this tila. I'm going to shoot over to the right in that tila. I mean, there's more than one way to do this. This is just the way I finished off the ones I was working with. And then I'm going to go up through those three seed beads finally, where I want to be. And let me set this down. I'm going to pick up three 15 O's and then one side of my wire guard, that's gonna end up laying kind of like that. I'm gonna go through the other side of my wire guard, pick up three more seed beads, and then I'm gonna travel down the three seed beads that are on this side. Got through the first two. And I'm gonna go through the third separately, as well as the half tila and next seed bead that I get to. And I just wanna reinforce this. So I'm gonna go up through all those beads again, through the seed beads I just added, and through the wire guard again. And that just strengthens it a little bit more. And then at this point, I would just weave my thread back in and maybe make some small half hitch knots, hide those inside of beads in the meantime, you know, like you normally would when you're bead weaving. So that side is basically done. That's how I would do that. Now for the next side, if you left yourself a longer tail thread than you might normally, you can just pop a needle on that side and this side is just a little bit different because of how your beads are set up. My tail thread is coming out of these three seed beads. I'm gonna weave it back in by going back through that tila. And I'm just gonna make my way following my thread path once again through the tilas, hiding my thread. I'm gonna make my way over to this side and I'm gonna proceed up through the three seed beads that are already in place. Right there. And kind of like we did on the other side, I'm gonna pick up three 15 O's 
as well as my wire guard and slip that down. Then I'm going to go through the other side of my wire guard, pick up three more 15 O's, and this time I'm gonna go right down through the tila that is on the other side, as well as those other three seed beads that are in place. And there you have that side. And now again, I would just weave back through that one more time to reinforce it, following the pretty much same thread path and do one more pass around, going through all those beads and the wire guard one more time, which will just strengthen it. That's where your jump rings and your clasp are gonna attach to, so you want that area to be stronger. And then I would just make a half hitch knot and hide it under some beads and continue doing that until I've got about three knots on each side and call it a day. So that is just another option for you to give you an example of how you could finish off the two ends of one of these more slimmer sized half tila herringbones. Of course, this is not the only way you could do it. This is just another way you could do it. Now let's say you wanna make a wider bracelet with horizontal stripes. You would start basically the same way as the slimmer version, but let me show you what you'd need to do to make a wider bracelet. Just like we did before, you wanna start out with three 15 O's, then pick up one color, pick up three 15 O's, then pick up your next color, three more 15 O's, and you guessed it, pick up your next color. And then we're gonna pick up three more 15 O seed beads. If you wanted to make it wider, you would just add on another Tila and then three more 15 O's and so on. So similar to what we did before, we're gonna pull these down toward our tail thread and we're gonna swing our needle back around and go through the Tila right here, the last one that we added. Then pick up one 15 and pick up the same color you just came out of. So I'm gonna pick up a purple and go through the next three seed beads as well as the open hole of my black one there. Then pick up one 15 and now a black Tila. And we're gonna go through the three 15 and the open hole of the white Tila. And then finally, we're gonna pick up one 15 and one white Tila and go through these last three 15 O's that we get to and pull. And once again, both our threads are coming out of this first 15 O and we're ready to start our next row. So we're just gonna shoot over through the open hole of this white Tila here at the bottom. That's gonna wrap those three seed beads around that. Then we'll pick up one 15 O a white Tila since we're working on this color stripe. We'll go through the one 15 O that's by itself and we're gonna go through the black Tila there that's sticking out through the open hole. Then we'll pick up a 15 O and a black Tila and we'll go through the one 15 O that's by itself and the purple Tila that is sticking out. And then we're gonna finish up this row by picking up a 15 O and now a purple Tila going through that single 15 O just by itself. So here's what it's looking like so far. And just like we did before, we wanna finish out the edge by picking up two more 15 O's, which is gonna put three of those little seed beads there on the side. and make it look nice and neat. So let's do one more of these little rows together, but I'm sure you probably get the hang of it by now. So that would be one 15 O and we're in the purple row. So we're gonna pick up a purple Tila, then go through the 15 O and the black Tila that's sticking out. Then a 15 O and a black Tila, go through the 15 O and the next white Tila. Then pick up a 15 O, pick up a white Tila, and go through just the seed bead there at the bottom. 
pick up two more 15 O's and do our little turnaround. And that is how you do a wider band. You would just start out with more tilas in that first step, separating them each by three 15 O C beads. And my suggestion to finish up the wider bracelets is to either glue them into a ribbon end such as this, or you can make some loops of seed beads coming off the existing ones here at the end and on the other side and add those to the loops of a slide clasp, for example. So by knowing how to do a wider width, you can of course do any pattern. It doesn't have to be a horizontal stripe. You could adapt this to the vertical stripes that we were doing earlier and the sky's really the limit. And that my friends is it for today's tutorial. I hope this was helpful for you. And again, this is just another way to use two whole beads, not only with the half tilas, but this is similar with super duos and other two whole beads as well. Hopefully this gives you a good idea and a good springboard for you to jump off of to take this and develop that into your own color scheme and design you want to use. Now you have a better understanding of how to at least get yourself started, how to develop these into the pattern you're looking to achieve, how to make them wider or slimmer like this one, and some different ideas of how to finish these off. I will leave some links down below for the colors of half tealas that I'm using today. So excited that Eureka Crystal Beads is carrying this line of beads now, as well as the full tealas and the quarter tealas. So go check out all the beautiful colors that they have and let your imagination run wild. These are just so fun to wear and play with. They feel great. Feel free to leave me a comment or question down below. You know, I always love to hear from you. I hope you'll stay tuned for much more to come. Until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day, and as always, happy beading. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my latest videos. You can check out the information section below this video for links to all my social media handles, recommended products, and my shop and blog at orchidnopal.com. Thanks for watching.